I got a, another designing tool that you can use and this time uh, it's actually you can use it in the browser so if you don't have Python you can um, use it in the browser the link will be in the description uh, but basically what it does is it, it draws Pythagorean stretches for you and also it's um, a way you can kind of practice and I'll explain what that means um, so this uh, uses Robert J. Lang's algorithm and then which I uh, coded into Python so let me show you, uh, as an example, how you would use this program as a calculator. So for example, let's say you had these two flaps, and if you're not familiar with box splitting, the flaps are represented by squares in box splitting, but um, you see the squares are overlapping. So you know that with regular box splitting techniques, you wouldn't be able, they wouldn't be able to work. But because their circles are not actually overlapping, you know that the, this combination of flaps is actually possible. You just need a Pythagorean stretch to do it. And so in order for, uh, to input this into the calculator, we need to know the, um, the difference in x and y coordinates between the centers of the flaps. So what that means is, we'll just draw like this, the difference in x coordinates, you can see is 6, and the difference in y coordinates is 8. Okay, And then the other thing we need to know is the length, the radii of the flap. So the length of this one is uh, uh, 7, and the length of this one is 3. So we'll go ahead and input it. And so it says to input as x, y, flap x, and flap y. So we'll go ahead and put the difference in x was 6, difference in y was 8, the flap on the x-axis, we'll call it axis, axis was uh, 7, and then this one, the last one was 3, close bracket, and then enter setup. And so you see that now it's drawn basically what we have uh, in here. So we can just click show solution, and it shows us our solution. So now, let me um, show you what it would mean to do the practice. So, oh, and by the way, there's sometimes multiple solutions. Uh, in this case, the other solution, quote unquote solution, is not actually a solution, um, or whatever. Let's put that away. So, um, I mentioned earlier that you can use it as a practice tool. And so what I mean by that is you can uh, actually draw on directly onto the, the uh, the program. So if you're um, new to Pythagorean stretches and you want to just try it out, you can um, just draw onto it. And then after that, you can check your work, show solution, and you see that it lines completely on top of it. So let's try another example. Um, so this is random, unstaged. I'm going to just do it right now. Um, hopefully it's not an annoying one. Um, hmm. Hmm, it is looks kind of annoying. Let me try that again. Frick. Hmm. Maybe let's just see what it was. Okay, yeah. So this one, you know, this this program is still kind of kind of new. Um, I'm still working on it. Okay, sorry. No. Let's just do. Um, I'm gonna get one. Okay, here. Hope. Uh, okay. There we go. I think we got it. We got one, boys and girls. So we got a nice easy one here. Okay, I think this solution should work. And let's see what the computer got. Yep, exactly. That's 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 epic. All right. So if you wanted to know what I was doing, uh, how I how I did that, how I kind of just eyeballed it really fast. Um, if this video gets a 100 likes, I'll make a make a tutorial for Pythagorean stretches and stuff like that. So um, make sure to, to like it, leave a like. Uh, yeah, so I think you know this program should be relatively straightforward. I hope um, you know you can plug in for your own designs while you're while you're working on it. You can just plug them in, do a quick calculation, uh, or if you want to learn or you're learning, you can use this to just um, you know it's actually pretty fun. You can take my word for it that it's pretty fun just to watch all of them. You know, 
yeah it's pretty nice uh, anyways so how to get this program you can go to the github link here and if you want you can download the pi file um, but if you don't have python you don't know how to run a pi file you can just click on the link here and that will be what i showed you here so when you, when you click on the link it looks kind of intimidating you can just slide all the things away you don't really need to see the code you don't really need the console either and you can it'll just look like this just like i showed you um, so if you find that helpful you should you sh if you find this helpful you should leave a like so we, we can do a pythagorean stretch tutorial you should also follow me here on instagram plant psychologist um, another thing if you're learning box pleating design you might want to check out this other software that i made so it, it will actually take the tree and make the layout the packing for you this one doesn't um, use pythagorean stretches uh, but it's not too hard to adapt to your own adapt your own into it if you know what i mean if that makes any sense whatever anyways thanks for watching and um, i hope this if you find this useful if you have any questions any suggestions or bug reports uh, you can oh if you find a bug you can do the print current setup and then send me this four number code that's pretty helpful you can leave a comment down below any any thoughts anything i, I read them reply to them so all right thank you i'll see you later